What is up guys, my name is Shmini, I'm back with another Identity 5 video for you guys today. On my YouTube channel, I did make a poll, would you guys rather see kiting tips for certain survivors, kiting tips for certain maps, or kiting tips just in general? And a whole lot of people said for certain maps. So today I'm going to be showing you guys before use practice on Red Church against a very, very, very top Bloody Queen. I won't tell you who, you, who it is guys, but just know it is a top hunter. Hopefully you guys do learn something, like, comment, subscribe if you do learn something, and let me know in the comment section below if you have any questions. The next map will either be Sacred or Lakeside or Moonlit, I'll get to that, but this episode will be Red Church, and uh, hopefully you guys do learn something. Um, I am going Seer in this match, a very, Blade Queen is the hardest hunter to kite, in my opinion, that or Anne, in my opinion, so hopefully you guys do learn something, and right here, right here I do get spawned on. I do get spawned on in red, um, in wedding. I'm just gonna loop this bloody queen. I know the mirror still, I can see the mirror in the background. I know she doesn't have the mirror. So I'm just gonna keep looping. I'm trying to get my second out, but I'm just gonna keep looping. I, I make sure to double back and run into the window so I can fast, fast fall. I'm just running right now. I know I have Soren, so I'm just going to transition away. This is a really bad spot for a Bloody Queen. I mean, for a Seer against the Bloody Queen. So I owl right here. Keep looking at her to build up Soren. And uh, I know she's going to a mirror right here. So I'm just I'm kind of skeptical. I know I'm going to get hit right here. I actually avoid the hit. You just got to keep going in a straight line, guys. If you're against Bloody Queen, if she gets close, you double back. But yeah, right here. Right here, I do get a pallet stun. I don't know how. Like... What? But anyway, I get the palace done. I know she doesn't have a mirror because she just used it. So I transition more. I go to this palace. I use this palace to my advantage. Let the hunter make the first move, not the survivor. So I see her. I loop. The when you're kiting in Red Church, you have to loop pallets. You have to use pallets to your advantage. Let the hunter make the first move. Don't make the first move. You'll be <laughs> right there. I look at the hunter to get my second owl. I knew she would blink, so I do owl. Always predict the blink, guys. Better safe than sorry, right? Better safe than sorry. Right here, I'm trying to get a third owl. I go to this pallet. I stun her because I know she'll swing. And I just tra I keep transitioning, guys. I know I, I, I got a lot of hate in some one of my videos saying, Schmitty, we know you we know you have to transition. What are you talking about? Well, guys, I get asked every day, how do you transition? Okay, that's how you do it. You use pallets to your advantage. You use windows to your advantage. I do end up going down there. And right now, I'm just, I'm just, I'm looking for my teammates. Doc, the uh, mercenary, will be coming to save. I think it's Doc. I don't want to show you guys through walls so you can see the hunter's name. But, uh, yeah. I also got told by Colton in one of my, uh, polls that, uh, tell you guys what the comments mean in the top left. The icons mean in the top left. The first two are broken windows and, uh, broken windows meaning vaulting a pallet faster, vaulting. Look, I vault this pallet. And the timer goes. See what I mean? Uh, the other icons are decoding slow, vaulting slow, bleeding out. So just go through those. It's very easy. I keep running through the pallet because I know I hear the charge attack. If you hear the charge attack, just keep running straight. I have. Just keep running straight, guys. All right. I know Cypher's prime. I'm just trying to get a third owl. I know Hatch is graveyard, so I'm just trying to play her. She has mirror, but I use my speed boost. As you can see in the top left corner, you can see it running out. 36 seconds until I have another window boost. I'm telling you guys this because I did get asked for what the icons mean in the top left. She charge attacks again. I hear it. Notice I kept running. Then I threw the pallet down. I'm super close to a third owl. Right now. Uh, oh, I get my third owl. GG's to this top hunter. Um... I will be going into, I did get hatched, we did get the four man. I will be going into another customs for you guys to show you guys graveyard kiting area and back gate kiting area. So just, I'll be right back. <laughs> Alright, I'm back guys. I did spawn back gate, so I'm going to show you guys first off how to 
kite back gate. So first of all, you're going to be decoding, and usually the hunter comes from this side. When the hunter comes from this side, you want to stay in this pallet, no matter what hunter is, except a bloody queen. Bloody queen, you have to be smarter. The only way to counter bloody queen back gate is just you have to hope the hunter misses the mirror, and you have to double back the mirror. That's the only way, but for every other hunter, stay in this pallet, see what they do. If they go on the other side of the wall, throw this pallet down. If they chase you, throw the pallet down. If they go around, just tight kite. Go up this window, use this pallet. If they break the pallet, go this way. Graveyard is your best friend, and I cannot stress this enough. Graveyard is your best friend. And this is the most important pallet in the entire map. This one right here. No matter where the hunter is, if he's chasing you, throw this down. No matter, I, I'm, I'm telling you, throw it down. Now the hunter has to make a decision. He you can either break it, and if he does break it, you go to graveyard, or he can go around. If he does go around, you can vault this window and just tie kite. Vault the window, go over here if he chases. You have to make this hunter break this pallet. This is the most pivotal pallet in the entire map. Top three pallet in the entire game. The hunter has to break this pallet if he wants to get to you. Once he breaks this, ooh, bot one. Once he breaks that pallet, you transition to this. N unless it's a bloody queen mirror or a clown dash, you will get to this. You you will outrun the hunter to this pallet. Now, once he's when you're once you're at this pallet, make the hunter make the first move. Make him chase you. When he gets close on either side, throw it down. So if he's on this side, throw it down and go back to the area you were just kiting and use this pallet right here as your best friend. If he comes on this side, make him break it. For example, I just threw it down. Make him break it and go to this one. Throw it down no matter what. This is horrible tight kiting right here. And then throw this one down. Throw this one down no matter what. Because this is horrible tight kiting. It's just a mini wall. And use this as a speed boost to get to this window. Church window is your best friend. This is best friend number two, and the one over there is best friend number one. Vault this, and you're safe. But you have to you ha when you spawn back it, you have to go to back eight to graveyard to here. That is the ideal kiting area. And use pallets to your advantage. Don't throw all of them down at once. Don't throw them super fast. Make the hunter come to you. You can loop a little bit if you want. But that is the gist of it. Now I'm going to show you guys if you spawn top broken. I know everybody hates this, especially mechanics in mine's eyes. This is the worst spawn in my opinion, no matter what hunter it is. I mean, it could be a hell ember, and this is a terrible spawn. Now when you spawn right here, you spawn right here. This is where you spawn. You want to get to this wall and peek it. If he's coming to you, you know he's coming to you. Don't, use, don't go to this pallet. You will get hit. If you go to this pallet, you'll just you'll waste everybody's time. What you want to do is you want to go right here. You want to go in here. Some hunters like to bait it by showing the light through the wall. If they're going this way, you can go this way. If you stay right here, you can see where the hunter is. If he goes that way, you just go this way. Right? And you avoid him. Don't use this pallet. I am telling you, do not use this pallet. Go here. He has to come straight. He will not check here, I promise you. The number one hunter in the game doesn't check here. I promise you the hunter will not check here. Then you make your way over either to this side, or if he goes this way, and you want to be tricky, you can go to wedding, to church. But don't use that pallet if you spawn there. If you're just decoding there and don't spawn there, you can use the pallet all you want. But if you spawn there, please do not use that pallet. All right, rule number rule number 76, never decode here in the beginning, unless you're a mercenary. This is, this is five second kite territory. You have nowhere to go, nowhere, nowhere. I'd have to use Owl right off the bat. Don't decode here, off the rip, off the spawn. When you, when someone spawns right here, don't go right here, don't go right there. Go this way, all right, go this way. Which leads me into my last kiting area tip, check. Check is very relatively easy, guys. The cipher will be right here. If the hunter is coming from anywhere on this side, you go this way. And make him push you. If he goes around, you go this way. Just make him vault this window or push you. If he's coming from this side, vault the window. Go this way. Get that speed boost. 
If he's coming from back there and going through that front door right here, vault the window, go to best friend number one. All right? Get into the church. The church is your best friend. Anyway, guys, <sighs> this hell number is going to town. I'm going to save you bot number one. Anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching. It is 3 a.m. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you guys want me to have a real life uh, hunter chasing me in the hiding area I just did, let me know. I just wanted to get this out to you guys as fast as possible since you guys are really wanting to learn how to kite better. Get, get your times up about 30 seconds and I, I think if you follow my instructions you will let me know in the comments if you have any questions um yeah guys it's, it's just practice use the palace here advantage make the hunter make the first move and use windows just yeah guys I know it's getting hard but you guys can do it I believe right again let me know in the comments if you guys have any questions it is my bedtime I'll see you guys in the next video Good night, carrots.